Quick disclaimer, I am in no way, shape, or form a movie critic. I know absolutely jack sh** about cinematography, movie production, mise-en-scene, and all that other stuff. This video is solely for entertainment purposes only. Also, spoilers. Spoilers all over the place. Okay, so after recording four of the reviews of these movies, I realize that I'm spouting absolutely nothing. I'm not contributing anything significant. I'm literally just saying movie bad because I don't like it and movie good because I like it. I mean, there's some salvageable stuff, but most of it was complete nonsense. So instead, I'm going to hop in every now and then to fill in some of the stuff that I missed. Look, okay, I know the lighting is still bad, but just bear with me. Also, this is a different camera angle. Um, I'm literally on my knees pause and second of all i was supposed to eat an orange for this video but i don't have any so i got another banana this time with a twist first of all hold on can i get this in shot look at how big this thing is like this is the size of my head i got a big ass head i think uh, at least i like to think i do so I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna uh do something to this banana real quick and you'll see what the twist is i guess the gimmick for this video is just eating the peel by itself you know who you are when you suggested this okay <coughs> okay all quiet all the western front uh, what i think about the movie god did i take a dump in this video because this review is shit adding on to what i said which was nothing this movie does an incredible job at portraying how someone changes before versus during versus after a war before the war Paul, the main character, was a guy full of creativity, hopes, and dreams. But during the war, he was a miserable, anxious meat shield. And after the war, he realizes that nothing in life is going to fulfill him more than being out in the battlefield, which leads to his demise. I have a notes or whatever over here. It's not really notes, but it's just like key words. Oh, favorite scene. My favorite scene was... Oh yeah, the two men in the trench. Here I'm talking about the scene that is in every version of this film, where Paul kills a French soldier in a bomb crater. And while yes, it is a powerful scene, I would much rather talk about the gas scene where this soldier does an Olympic dive straight into the gas. Watching this in class got my heart pumping, pop, sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy, this bomb. Yeah, that was all quiet on the western front. A tier for me. Alright, next up, the Count of Monte Cristo. Okay, this part of the video sucks so bad, so I'm just gonna say all of it right here, right now. The Count of Monte Cristo is the best movie in this roster, and for good reason. The acting is phenomenal, the plot was great, the characters were impactful, and the music slaps. I'm not gonna say much because I do highly recommend this movie to anyone that hasn't seen it yet. The movie's like 21 years old, why do you think anyone's gonna care if you spoil it or not? Because even when this movie came out, not many people knew about it. Or maybe they did, I don't know. I just don't see enough people talking about this movie and I don't understand why. So if there's one movie from this entire video that I would highly recommend watching, it would be this one. Well done, gentlemen. Many thanks, Your Grace. Alright, so next movie is Swing Kids, and I'm gonna put this at B tier. I was gonna put it at A tier, mainly because of how good the soundtrack is for this movie. Surprise, surprise, this part also sucks, because I didn't talk about the actual movie, but rather the soundtrack. So after thinking about it, this movie is actually a C tier for me. Now don't get me wrong, I love how this movie touched on the German kids during World War II, and how it easily brainwashed the Hitler Jung network. But the plot in itself isn't anything too crazy, then the characters were decent, but the acting is another story. They're evil, Thomas! Shut up! I'm not hearing this! You don't know what you're saying! This movie had an incredible soundtrack, good ideas, and great character development of a certain someone, but I feel like everything else was just a little bit lackluster. Oh, and by the way, the dancing in this movie makes any dancer today look like a paralyzed person trying to break dance. The dancing in this film is outstanding. So this is take two of recording uh, this part of the video. Also, look at this. I got a little uh, mic thing. It's supposed to attach onto my shirt, but I look really stupid when it's attached to my shirt. So I'm just going to hold it. Uh, this next movie is Les Miserables. I don't know how to pronounce this movie, all right? Les Miserables.
I'll give this movie a B tier only for one reason and one reason only. That is the relationship between the main character and the main antagonist. I don't remember the main antagonist's name, but I do remember Jean Valjean. These two's relationship carried the entire movie. Honestly, I'm glad that it did because had this relationship not been so good, this movie would definitely be a C tier, maybe even a D tier. And throughout the movie, I understand what it's trying to do. It's trying to create this sort of like father and daughter relationship between Jean Valjean and Cosette. However, their relationship is nowhere near as interesting as the main character and the main antagonist. And the whole thing with Cosette and that one guy that I don't remember his name, I did not like their dynamic at all. As much as I didn't like Cosette and the guy that was with her, their actors were really good and so were everybody else. Okay, you know what? Scratch that. Everybody in this movie can go fuck off. If it was just the main antagonist and the main character, this movie would be an S tier. I'm being dead serious. This is like the most ridiculous like cat and mouse chase ever, but it's between like two of the most interesting characters ever. My favorite scene is at the end Ending. the main antagonist basically kills himself and the main character is now free and it was just like the music kicked in and everything that scene was just so damn good but yeah les miserables mes mes i don't even how do you pronounce this movie however you pronounce this movie it gets um what i say my original rating was a b yeah a b i'll give this a b tier next movie is oliver twist you know when i was making the list of like all the movies that i've watched in my history class I, this was the one that i forgot like i legitimately forgot that i've seen this movie this movie is the definition of a slow burner probably the slowest burner in the entire world because there is one technically action scene in this entire movie which i'm fine with right not every movie has to be super bombastic with its action the actors definitely definitely carried this movie though uh whoever played fagan fantastic job whoever played uh this guy i don't remember his name whoever played this guy did an amazing job whoever played oliver twist and like like all the actors that really good in this movie it's just that it wasn't memorable there's only one scene that i 100 percent remember and it's the famous you know please sir can I have some more scene please sir i want some more what now we're online to look at, you know, what people thought of the movie. There was nothing. Like, I couldn't... F same thing with Count of Monte Cristo. I could not find anything about this movie. In all honesty, I can't... I don't know what my favorite scene is, and I don't know where to put this movie on the ranking. I want to put it at D tier, because I just didn't enjoy it compared to all the other movies that I've seen. But I feel like that would be doing the actors some injustice. If I put it at C tier, that means it's at the same level as, uh, Swing Kids. How good were the actors? I gotta I got think about this. How good... Forget that. Forget the actors for second how good was the plot the plot was the plot was okay like it wasn't i feel like it's a common thing about these movies is that there's one good thing and everything else isn't like fully fleshed out but i'm putting it as c tier for now just to calm my mind i'll have to think about it but for now c tier all right cool read the very last movie of this list which is um the boy in the striped pajamas is that what it's called I i'm gonna sound like a complete nerd right now but this movie is not accurate to real life history uh, at least in some part this movie made it seem like the germans did not know that the holocaust was you know actually going on and jews are being slaughtered but they were aware the germans were 100 percent aware that you know this this whole thing was happening if you're gonna make like a historical fiction movie you know at least get some of the stuff right i, I don't know overall this movie wasn't bad this, i'd put this movie in b tier and let me just calm down i know i just, just let me oh, the, here we go i might be the only person that have said this probably not but the ending of this movie made me pissed off <laughs> <laughs> i was just so pissed at the ending of the movie i was like you fucking idiot why would you go into the camp with them you're so fucking stupid and now you're dead now you're fucking dead whose fault is that huh i'm still mad about it clearly i'm still mad about it i just felt like the ending was like i i, I get it you know ends on a dark note it makes the viewers think about you know the movie and the history behind it that kid was so stupid i think my favorite scene would be uh where shmuel was like hot eating something the the, the guy i forgot his name things up the k he's like if a fnaf jump scare was a nazi every time he's on screen there's gonna be like a split second of silence and then he's just gonna yell answer me actually no that's the entire movie the movie would just go silent for like a minute and all of a sudden there'll just be someone yelling and it scares everybody in the classroom including me so where did i say this was at b tier i think wait was that b tier before b tier was les Miser yeah no i was i put it a bit at b tier i'm fine with this movie being at b tier so yeah that's the completed list i might do something about oliver twist because i don't like it being in c tier but i don't know where else to put it but yeah i guess we'll head straight to the outro if i have an outro outro hello